this house needs a clean. It is disgusting. I need to get on that. My nails need painting. I chopped them all off the other day. So they were getting too long. So I was like, right, short nails again. Team short nails. So I might do a stream and do them live this afternoon. Because people like watching live nail painting. But first of all, caffeine is needed. Currently got two office chairs at the moment because <laughs> that's my new one. It's very, very fancy. It's really, really comfy. I know it's ugly, but oh my God, dream. So, so comfy. And this is my old one. We're going to have to sell this on Facebook Marketplace, I think, because we haven't got no, we haven't, we, we, we ain't got nowhere to store it. I haven't got anywhere to store it. Um, and it's a nice chair. I mean, it's from Ikea. It's lasted me like a year and a half but it's just got no back support. So this is the way forward. All of these chairs, all of like the, the gaming chairs, the chairs with the good back support and stuff are so ugly. This is like the nicest one that I could find or the least offensive one I could find. Got our Toby pillow. <laughs> um, but it lights up and everything. Team, look, let me show you. Hang on, let me turn it on. Are you ready for this? <clears throat> are you ready for this? Do, 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 do. We got our lights on there. Are you ready? Come on, I mean, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Absolutely ridiculous. But there you go, that's what it is. That is my chair. You don't have to have it lighting up, obviously, um, but it's just actually really comfortable. And of course we're gonna have it lighting up. Why not? Come on, let's have some fun. Hey? <laughs> Morning team, I'm still keeping up with my healthy habits from the vlog about how many weeks ago? How long have we been doing it now? Like nearly a month, I reckon. I'm really pleased with myself. <laughs> if you remember, they were drink water, drink enough water every day, make sure I have something for breakfast and also move my body every day in some way. I'm doing really well with that one. We've gone back to the gym and I'm enjoying it. I do have to like use Chris as backup when I go into the weight pit because I still get quite nervous. It's not until I've been doing it for quite a while that I feel confident enough to go down there on my own I don't know what it is I don't know I think it's because I'm just worried that everybody's looking at me and thinking that my form's all rubbish but nobody is looking at you in the gym they're all looking in the mirror and I know that but um yeah it's been really fun to do weights again I'm still going to my badminton which is really good and walking Toby just trying to just generally move um and I've also been stretching a lot more which helps especially if you're just sat at a computer all day so if you have been sat at your computer all day make sure you have a stretch right now <laughs> my water intake is going good although yesterday i don't think i drank enough so i'm going to drink a little bit extra today honestly that the ice and the straw hack works really really well i'm also getting a toby water bottle very exciting i feel like my water intake is going to go through the roof with that right because 100 tastes better coming out of a toby water bottle <laughs> and my shakes are working out for me really well in the morning because remember i said that i really struggle to eat breakfast i just feel quite sick in the mornings and i can't actually like eat a big breakfast so for me having a shake is really really good high in protein high in fiber added vitamins and minerals in fact i think there's 23 23 vitamins and minerals in here so nutritionally really good for you to start the day and it gets some extra calories in my tummy because i just found like i was going past breakfast it's not good you need to eat your calories i'm switching it up today and i'm using the vanilla one which is like one of their plainer flavors and then i'm adding in my own stuff to make a fruit smoothie so i know it's not groundbreaking but i flipping love it it's really refreshing so i've got frozen strawberries and blueberries and also a frozen banana as well now i know that they do banana flavor and i know that they do strawberry flavor but i like doing it this way because you can like build your own if you use vanilla as the base you can kind of like just build your own and um, sometimes I do it in like a smoothie bowl fashion, you know, like Instagram, <laughs> where you like just make it a little bit thicker and then eat it with a spoon and put your fruit on top. But because these are frozen, I use them instead of ice and then it just makes like a, an ice cold fruity smoothie. Mm, delicious. I love it. I really like it. Super quick and easy as well. So milk, two scoops, half a frozen banana. Oh, nearly put that in the jar then. And then, oh, it's a big chunk. I'm sticking them in. <laughs> frozen fruit, just blitz it. You don't have to put ice in because the frozen fruit makes it all icy. I turned it on. Turn your blender on. Cooking with X and X. Stick his 
little handle on, reusable straw, right way around. Boom, let's give it a go. Oh, that actually tastes like ice cream. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, that's a good combo. Vanilla, strawberries and blueberries. Yeah, strawberries and blueberries from Tesco and half a banana actually tastes like ice cream for breakfast. Mm. I'm happy. See, that's just really easy for me to make and to eat in the morning. It means I get some good stuff in my tummy, protein, fiber, vitamins and minerals. Happy days. And also helps me maintain my weight. I'm not looking to lose weight at the moment. I'm happy where I am, but I would like to not put on any weight because I still want to get in my clothes and I've got a wedding dress to make. So I just kind of like want to stay where I am. Really good way of doing that too. And also, I tend to stick one of the bars with me, especially on days when I'm streaming, because I'm like sat there for sort of like five, six hours and we kind of like stream through lunch. So I have one of the bars because they're really easy to just grab and go. If you're like leaving the house or whatever, have one of those in your bag. Always got something on the go if you get hungry. I love how lunch on the go for me is just me sat at my desk doing a stream, but I can't like leave the stream halfway and go and make lunch. So these are a really good option because they kind of, they fill you up. They've got loads of protein and fiber in them and stuff. They've got all the nutrients that you need and you can just sit there with a cup of tea and eat them while you're talking. Don't talk with your mouth full of kids, but you know what I mean? So it's just really good if you haven't got time to cook and you need to just grab something and go. Cheers. Flipping love this. I'm gonna leave a link to this down below if you want to make this, just that. Berries, banana, boom, done. Put any fruit in it you like, make your own flavor. I think it's the blueberries in this that make it good. Oh, it's just like ice cream. Good morning, everyone, from my bleary, puffy face. Um, I'm very, very tired, I'm not sleeping again. I think it's hormone related. I don't know about you guys, but um, do you struggle to sleep in the week before your period? I'm due on any day now, and I just really struggle to drop off. Toby is here with his parrot. Would you like to show everybody? Oh, lovely. Look at that lovely parrot. Hey. <laughs> One of our Twitch followers, Bev, bought him this, sent us some money to go and buy him a very, very fancy dog toy. So um, we bought him this parrot and he absolutely loves it. I was really worried he was going to destroy it, but it's going strong. Is it your favourite? You say thank you to Bev. <laughs> I know Bev watches these vlogs as well, so hi Bev, thank you very much for Toby's parrot. <laughs> I swear, like, they, everybody loves him more than me on those streams, because we have little Toby dog cam, so he's in the corner and you can watch him live the whole time. Anyway, um, what's new with me? So, last week, and this week, actually, I met up with uh, two of my Twitch friends. Oh, Twitch friends. Uh, so I met up with Westwood Law and also Matt McVie. Uh, I met with Laura the week before. I went for coffee, like I said. Really lovely lady. And then Matt decided he was going to come up from London. So we met up again on Tuesday. And we went into Birmingham and we played mini golf and we drank cocktails and we had a really lovely time. Um, and I had no reason to be nervous because everyone was so, so lovely. And yeah, I met some, I like got some new friends and stuff through Twitter. It's amazing. It's, the internet's fantastic that it brings people together in this way. We love to see it. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the next time I get to see them. Matt lives in London, um, but Laura and I don't live that far away. So yeah, and we're all going to go to this like Twitch meetup thing uh, called Twitch London IRL in November. So I'll definitely get to see them then. But I'm hoping that we might be able to see each other again before that, maybe next month or something. So um, yeah, it was really good. If you're worried about like meeting new people, if you've got a chance to meet new people and you're scared to do it, don't be scared. Just do it. It's really great. And um, yeah, it was nice. You shouldn't really meet many new people in this job. Um, in real life anyway. So it was just lovely. Really, really lovely. It's currently about half past ten in the morning, I think. I can't remember. Um, I had a bit of a lie until half nine today because I was up till very late, like half past two. Because um, I was working and then just could not sleep. So I had a bit of a lie in. Um, and today's the daytime streaming day on Twitch. So that'd be really good if you, this is, this is a Twitch thing. So you can't say piss on the internet, but it's peas. It, See the inside joke. <laughs> but it's a really good mug, so I'm using it. <laughs> but yeah, today's the daytime Twitch stream, so I might paint my nails and just have a little bit of a chat. I think today's topic of chatting is going to be um, talking about burnout and hustle culture and how we all can take time off and take downtime without feeling guilty about it. So that's going to be today's TED Talk Thursdays. That's just, that I made that up on the spot, but I like it. We'll go with it. 
If you want to watch that, by the way, um, they are available for two weeks as video on demand, so you can go over to Twitch and, and watch any of the streams that you want to for two weeks, if you want to catch up on those and get into it. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that's pretty much what I've got today. It's going to be a long stream, sort of like from 12 till 4, and then I think we might go to the gym a little bit later. My hair is ooh, grim, to be perfectly honest. I need to do something with it. But yeah, I might go to the gym later. Um, and then relax this evening, so hopefully I can get to sleep at a decent time. That's the plan. Chin chin. What's your plan today? Work that tail? That's a very good plan. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> All we have to do is look at you, hey? Oh, you're very tired this morning as well. It's still very early for you. It's such a lazy dog, I love it. Hello team, how are we? Painting my nails, look, ooh, peachy colour. That's Peach Perfect from Miley. It's really nice. I cut them all off, they're all like little stubby ones now, but I'm feeling refreshed. I feel like they got too, they got too long very, very quickly. Um, so now I'm feeling refreshed. Um, I was gonna say, exciting news. We're going back to the theatre. Can't believe it. It's been since before COVID that we went to the theatre, which is bonkers because I flipping love musicals i love going to the theater and stuff and we have got like a couple of months of like lots and lots of theater which i am here for so we're going to see rock of ages tomorrow very exciting i know a lot of people have said it's rubbish <laughs> and i don't expect it to be great but i'm just like get me back in that theater um, and i like to give things a go sometimes it's the ones that you don't expect to be good that actually turn out to be really good whether this will be the case or not i don't know um but then we're also going to see uh, everyone's talking about Jamie, which I've wanted to see for absolutely ages. Also Heather's as well, which everybody raves about. Uh, we've got School of Rock, Adam's Family, Dear Evan Hansen. What's that sound? Thought we'd been burglared. Uh, Dear Evan Hansen, which I'm so excited for. I wanted to, literally, I wanted to see that. We booked book tickets and we're just, we're flipping going. Um, and what else have we got? We've got other ones as well, I can't remember. Waitress as well, I think, at some point. Theatre season's back, kids. Theatre season is back and I'm so excited. So, um, yeah, I really can't wait. I really can't wait. I will let you know um, if any of the ones that I see are any good and stuff. But yeah, I'm very, I just, I can't believe it. Do you like musicals? Are you a musical fan? Um, when was the last time you went to the theatre? Are you going back to the theatre? I haven't been to the cinema for literally years as well. I kind of want to see that, um, is it Free Guy or Fall Guy? I think it's Free Guy, right? With Ryan Reynolds. I want to see that one. Um, we were thinking of maybe going on Saturday. Um, maybe Saturday afternoon, wandering into town and um, just getting a bottle of wine. Because our cinema's got like the super comfy relaxing seats so and a bar and stuff. So you can have like an, a bottle of wine to share and then sit back on the relaxing seats and watch it on the big screen. Uh, that could be quite fun. So maybe we might do that this weekend. Uh, but yeah. Excited! It's all. Oh, I'm just so excited to get back into the theatre. Genuinely, can't wait. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know how things are gonna go. So uh, I'm just cracking on with some work. I'm also trying to fix my PC because this I've got my gaming PC, which is a big bit of kit. But for some reason, I think one of the drivers isn't great, and it keeps like accidentally shutting down my monitors, which isn't brilliant, especially when I'm midstream. So um, we're just trying to figure it out. They can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. And I'd really like to avoid having to like completely change the computer because I need it. Um, and it's going to be a bit of a bugger so fingers crossed we don't have to do that um but yeah that's pretty much all that's going on i'm gonna head to the gym later i think i went the other day i went on the cross trainer and i just blasted it out for 45 minutes and i really enjoyed it but i, I want to do some weights um because i love the feeling of doms i love it when you ache the next day it makes me feel good so uh yeah i'm gonna go with chris hopefully later and uh, we'll see if he can put me through my paces in the weight section because I'm still not like 100% going myself, you know, because everyone sort of stares at you like you've got two heads. So if I'm with him, he kind of kind of like coaches me through a bit. 
Also, I don't want to do my back in. That would be very, very bad. Um, but I keep, I'm going back to my badminton club. I do that every week now and I absolutely love it. I'm getting quite good, if I do say so myself. I used to be all right at badminton, you know. And then obviously I haven't played for years because uh, of COVID and stuff. So I'm really looking, I'm glad that I'm going back. And like, I'm looking forward to building on those skills. We've been doing like skill sessions each week and also playing, which is good for exercise and moving the old body and stuff, keeping up with my healthy habits. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm doing all right. I've got a good backhand, me. You just, you just watch out. And I'm working on my power shots as well from the back. We did like this cool technique the other day. We put your hand up and like turn to the side and phew, absolutely bash it. I'm getting pretty good at that. I just need to now like control it so it doesn't go flying out the back of the court. <laughs> Have you ever played badminton? Do you like badminton? What's your sport of choice? Um, I'm still desperate to find like a kickboxing, um, class as well because I love my kickboxing the only one I can find is on the same day and time as my badminton and I want to be able to do both so I'm working on that um but yeah I haven't done much walking this week because the weather it's been vile it was like heat wave central like 27 degrees the other day when I went to go and see Laura and Matt um and now today it's been horrendous torrential like thunder and rain and stuff so yeah it's rubbish I can definitely feel like there's a big big like a bigger storm coming so i'm staying hydrated got my toby water bowl <laughs> yes stay hydrated team make sure you drink your water today if you haven't already um but yeah i think that's about it i haven't really got anything else to fill you in on so do you know what in the spirit of keeping these vlogs nice and short and snappy these days i think i might leave it there i'm such a grease ball my hair is like four days overdue being washed so i'll probably go and do that after we've been to the gym tonight um, I don't know what to do with it for the wedding. I'm not sure whether to like go back to my, um, it's already, it's going back to the balayage. We're growing it out to the old school balayage anyway, which is very much more me, I think, than the blonde. I don't know. I do like the blonde. I don't know what to do for it. I've got to make a decision soon. Getting married soon, isn't it? <laughs> it's going so quick. I can't believe it's September already. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah. I'm afraid I've got nothing else to report, so I will. We'll keep it short and snappy, and I'll leave it here. Um, and yeah, I will catch up with you next time. Whether it's a catch up with a cuppa, or it's a day in the life of vlog, or a bit of a mismatch of both, or just see what happens with these vlogs. We'll do them as and when, and um, yeah, go from there. But thank you for all of your comments. <laughs> That's Chris. Thank you for all of your comments and thank you for bringing the community back to YouTube a little bit. I appreciate it and uh, thank you to everybody who's come over to see me on Twitch and yeah, I'm going to say hello to my fiancé.